Hello everyone, Sean Mancini here, and today we're talking about Telnet. Uh, you may or may not have heard, but uh, Telnet is a old way of administrating devices, um, and uh, is very insecure. Now, a lot of people may may have heard this, but they don't know why it's insecure, and um, we uh, may not know what can come out of someone intercepting these packets. So let's let's dive in. So today what we're going to look at is the difference between Telnet and SSH. Uh, so SSH being the new way of remote administration, Telnet being the older way. Uh, big things about Telnet, why it's insecure. One, it passes everything via clear text. There's no encryption, which would be the second part. And, um, and uh, also is very susceptible to man-in-the-middle attacks. <coughs> SSH, on the other hand, is fully encrypted and can be tunneled through <coughs> almost anything okay so let's uh let's see what what happens on the packet level between ssh and uh and Talmud. so the first thing we're going to do is fire up our wireshark here okay. we'll apply a filter for Talnet. Okay, so the so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log into a device I have on my network that's Telnet enabled. Okay, so we're in this router. Let's go ahead and do some administration. And I need to do a show run. Let's say I needed to ping something, I don't know. Okay, and uh, I log out. Okay, so everything went out, went without a hitch. Let's see what the packet sniffer picked up. Okay, so in your Wireshark, <coughs> if you intercept these packets, all you gotta do is right click on one of the, the packets, click follow TCP stream, and bingo. Right away, we can see the biggest issue with Telnet here. Not only do I have the username and password of the device, everything that I typed in, see right here, uh, we did the show run, okay. and it picked up the entire configuration for this router. Very dangerous if, uh, if this was a core device and someone, uh, a core device and let's say the passwords weren't encrypted, uh, this can be very dangerous so the industry moved from Telnet to what is known now or what many of you know as SSH so let's see the difference so now I'm going to log into a device that's SSH enabled So I've logged in, I've issued a couple of commands, and now let's get out of our router. First of all, you can actually see right off the bat, uh, Wireshark is already saying encrypted, like the, that the packet is encrypted, number one. Number two, even when I do follow TCP stream, I get nothing but garbage. This is, uh, this in actually is the data being passed, but it's all encrypted. There's nothing we can do with it. Um, well, there are, it's not that there's nothing that we can do, we can't do anything with it. Now, if I took this information and uh, ran it through a brute force scanner, uh, sorry, brute force tool, not a scanner, but a brute force tool, eventually I might be able to crack it. Um, now, the problem with that is that uh, with SSH, the keys can change. Uh, there's a lot that can change. So even if I get all this information, I want to use the credentials or if I want to use the same technique to break into another SSH session I uh, I might be out of luck okay. 
So, perfect. Now, uh, that's, uh, that's the end of the video. I just wanted to kind of inform everyone about that uh, in case you're uh, wondering why Townet is insecure and maybe you've heard of it. Please do leave comments and uh, suggestions below. You can also visit my website, www.shawmancini.com. And uh, thank you for watching.